percent and a half. But it's a good time to get in Nimesh to help us out with what he's picking up in D Street Chatter. Nimesh, take it away. Hi, Nigel, you know, a bit of uh, expiry late pressure as well. Uh, again, you know, uh, there is selling, is what I understand, there is a market to close basket selling as well at LDA Fair Desk and largely in the Nifty name. So clearly from a flow perspective, it's a, it's a down day uh, and there is aggressive selling is what I understand. Uh, the sector which are dragging the markets down is clearly IT on the back of Accenture, uh, you know, uh, earnings and, uh, and, and the guidance and also uh, to some extent financials are under pressure today. But uh, the sector which is seen some bit of buying for the last couple of days is auto names. And for the second day running, there is aggressive buying. And understand, uh, Street is anticipating a, a strong festive demand sales. So that's something to track as far as autos are concerned. Technically, I think 24-200 is a level to watch on the downside. But again, you know, the November series is going to be quite interesting and quite large as well. The big events to watch out for, the US election, the Fed outcome. Uh, we have the uh, state election outcome as well, which, which markets will react to. And of, and of course, the MSCI rebalancing on the 14th. So, this, you know, some, some, some big events to watch out. But I guess today's fall is dragged by uh, FI selling as well. Of course, it, it adds to the expiries also. But there is selling in the large cap names from larger institutions today. Okay, all right. Uh, uh, Nimesh, uh, thanks for that feedback. In terms of specific stocks, what's on your list today? Well, the first name is uh, Exo Noble. Uh, big move on that name and large volumes as well. It's generally a thinly traded stock, but the volumes on the higher side today. I understand some H&I investors are active buyers. And also, you know, uh, while the patent has already indicated that they're looking at... Uh, explaining options for their Indian, uh, Indian company. Uh, I, I guess the street is sensing something uh, to come very soon. And it's a big move in that name. So that's the first stock. Second stock is Genesis Industries. Uh, there was a large block in the morning trade, nearly 4% equity call change hands. I understand uh, a domestic AIF was a buyer in today's block. So again, disclosures there could be quite interesting. The third is NTPC. Uh, within the uh, you know, PSU basket, while there is selling across board, NTPC stands out on the buy side. So there is aggressive buying from some large FIs in today's trade in NTPC. And the last is LNT. We've been talking about why fundamentally the stock has been buzzing in trade, but there are very strong buy flows. And additionally, there is a Morgan Stanley tactical call as well that they expect the stock to rally on the upside uh, post the strong quarter two. So that's the reason why LNT is holding on since the morning gains. Mm, okay. All right, got that. By the way, uh, Surabhi, let me tell you, uh, Nimesh, uh, usually uh, when you walk up to Nimesh on his desk, he's always... He's, he's on got, the phone he's, forever. He's, he's like this, <laughs> always. <laughs> today, today, <she> was, <laughs> Nimesh, how many phone calls today? Um, <laughs> I, today you? was not a very hectic depression because half of the uh, you know market party even seems to be on off and they're enjoying the, uh, the Diwali. Yeah, so, today, the, today was, would be more, I think, uh, festive greetings, ones. right? Yeah. <laughs> today, there yeah. would be more festive greetings and less of cover. Yes. But otherwise, Absolutely. yeah, I completely agree. You have to really wave and get Nimesh's attention, get him on the phone. <laughs> Thank you so much for that, Nimesh. Thank you. Uh, see you. In